Listen, listen, you don't want to pass this opportunity up. No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm really not interested. Look, I like you, Mr. Hookham. I can offer you the acre of land at... 10 grand. But that's about as low as I can... Mr. Hulker? Listen, listen, listen. We all have decisions in life. Have kids, change jobs, buy that new car. This is one of those decisions, Mrs. Moore. It won't be your long. It's a decision to get rich or to play it safe. I want you to listen to this. Mrs. Moore, are you listening? Mrs. Moore, are you there? All right, Mrs. Moore, listen to this. You hear that? You hear that? That's the sound of opportunity knocking, Mrs. Moore. Opportunity is knocking and she's impatient. Mrs. Moore, you will not regret this. You're gonna look back at this as a turning point in your life. Like shoot monkeys in a barrel. It's fish. What? You don't shoot monkeys in a barrel, you shoot fish. It doesn't make any sense if you say it like that. Well, when you move into real estate, you can correct me. Until then, you can shine my shoes. Um, anyways, how did the locum deal go? Bastard got cold feet. Couldn't sell property to him if it came with a million bucks. You know we're dinosaurs, right? What's that supposed to mean? You know, men like us. Sellers. We're gonna go extinct, it's like dinosaurs. Maybe you're going extinct, but me, I'm at the top of the food chain. You're a fumbler, and I'm a seller. Ark, get in here. Hey boss, how's the wife? I said she was pregnant, right? Cut the crap, Mark, your numbers suck. You've sold one property in the last month. Helen Keller could sell more property over the phone than you have the last month. Look, the stuff you're giving me isn't sellable. All those leads you got were grade A. Any competent salesman could have sold them. A monkey with a banana and a car could have sold them. Look, it, it's been rough. My kid's real sick. I just need one more chance. We're making cuts. The worst salesman gets the boot tomorrow. You're tied with Helen for last. I've got one last week. The Carey residence. This is brand new. Go to their house and sell something tonight. And you keep your job. Don't, and you and your crappy numbers can go to find a new home. Now get out of my office and don't screw up. Oh, yes, Jerry. Avocado is a great color for kitchen appliances. Uh, yes, can I help you? Yes, hi, my name is Mark Mitchum. I'm here with Kofax Sales to talk to you about a potentially life-changing real estate opportunity. Uh, you know, I'm really not... I've got to take care of the kids. Please, ma'am, it's a potentially life-changing deal. Okay, all right. Um, so what are you selling? Well, down the scene from Nando, there's a plot of land set for development a few years ago. The builder scrapped the project, and now it's up for grabs at a reasonably low price. You know, I'm really not at a point in my life where I should be buying land. It's a beautiful place. I mean, it's just a short drive from the beach. Uh, why don't we speak outside? So what's wrong with the land? The developers, I mean, why didn't anyone buy it? Oh, it's, um, nothing. I mean, they ran out of funds. You know, a few minor problems with the land, but nothing that affects value. It's right in the middle of sunny California, right next to Disneyland. I mean, I, I just... I... When I was ten, my father used to tell me something. He used to say, uh, you know what he used to say. Son, there are some moments in this life that you just gotta grab. And if you don't grab them, they'll kill you, just like cancer or any other disease. So, Kendra, you're gonna grab this moment. Well... You make a convincing case, Mr. Mitchum. I guess let me call my husband so we can confirm the deal. Uh, you can wait in the kitchen if you'd like. Thank you. Hey, buddy. How'd the treatment go? Good, yeah. Daddy had a really good day. Okay, well, I'll be home tomorrow. Yep, yeah, time for your birthday. I've got a special gift for you, too. Okay, sounds like a plan. Oh, I gotta go. Okay, I love you. Okay, bye. Would you like to your bed or mine? Uh, Mr. Mitchum, my husband Walter, he said we can't do it. Unfortunately, with the mortgage on our house. Maybe I can talk to him, Mrs. Carey. Mrs. Carey? Yes, it's your last name, or oh, do you go by something else? I'm not. Mrs. Carey, I'm sorry, this is embarrassing. I'm Kendra Harper. I'm just 
just watching your kids while they're on vacation. Uh, they'll be back tomorrow, though, if you want me to leave on a message. Oh, if you would have it, that'd be great. Thanks. Well, I'm sorry this didn't really work out, but I must say you're quite the salesman, Mr. Mitchum. <laughs>